I'm going to make the um, inside support structure that's going to support the, uh, the frame of this car. Now, um, this is going to be go here. This is basically going to be what we're making here. Um, so it's a really, really simple object, and it's pretty much just so we can, in case we were to have an animation that shows the underside of the car, um, we wouldn't just see the car shell. So let me go to unhide all. And I'm going to go ahead and just hide some of the elements I've already made here. Actually, I'm going to deselect this. All right, great. So I'm going to start off at my top view, and I'm going to go to um, F3 for a wireframe. Let's go ahead and hide this for now, too. And I'm going to start off by creating a box. Now my box is going to be pretty basic. Let's go ahead and move this into place. Um, and then I can go to my front view. And I'm going to just line it up right here with the bottom of my frame, just like that. All right, now going back to the top view, I'm going to start off by converting this to an editable poly. And then I'm going to take my front two vertices. And you know, before I do that, let's go ahead and just align this. Make sure that these are both center to center. Perfect. Great, now I'll go to my vertex. Um, I'm going to bring this back right to about here um, where it starts to change shape, and I'm going to scale that down. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my back vertices, and I'm going to bring them to right about here and scale that out just a little bit as well. All right, so once you have the shape that you want, um, let's go to our side view. And I'm going to bring this vertex down just a bit. Actually, we can probably bring this back a little bit. And um, I need to add some geometry back here as well. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to my edge tool. I'm going to click on this vertical edge. And I'm going to say ring and go down to connect. Um, and that's going to allow me to make a horizontal segment. Um, and what I can do from here is I can go to my polygon mode, select this back polygon here, and I can actually just extrude this out a little bit. So let's bring that, oops, let's extrude this polygon out to maybe about there. So that's good. We'll say okay. Go to my vertex tool, bring this down just a tad so it fits in. And I'm not really liking the shape of this, so I'm going to modify it just a little bit. And then um, we can start to bring some of these polygons over just to kind of straighten out that shape. Um, if you want to add another set of segments here, you can do that. Um, but it's not really necessary. The only reason why we are um, modifying this or creating this shape is so if we do see the undercarriage of the car, um, it's not just going to be a you know, blank space. So I'm going to get rid of that edge. Um, and this should actually be fine for now. So now what I want to do is I want to go to my front view. And I want to see what this looks like. So if you go to F3, it's looking pretty bad. So I'm going to go to my tools here. And I'm just going to select these back polygons. And let's scale these in. Oops. Let's go up here as well. Oops. And we're scaling these in along the axis. 
Great. So now once you have your object kind of set in there, looks like I may have done it a little bit too much. There we go. Um, you can start doing a little bit more of your modeling. So let's make a couple of fine tune adjustments back here. Let's take all these bottom pieces and we want them resting right on top of that thing, just like that. Great. Awesome. So now I'm going to turn off my wireframe and I'm going to go to the undercarriage of my car. Now, um, I'm in my perspective view right now, and we want to start making the battery pack that's actually going to go down here. But as you're going to notice, this is just one polygon, so we need to actually go into our Swift loop, and we need to add geometry. So I'm going to add one right about here. I'm going to right click to end that, and we now should have this polygon isolated for, for us to use. So the first thing that I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to inset this shape. And this is going to be where my battery pack is. So feel free to use your Select and Scale tool to modify that shape however you'd like. Um, that looks fine to me. And then I'm um, going to go ahead and hold on my Control key. I'm going to go to my Edge selection. Um, to just change out that selection so I don't have to worry about uh, selecting all my edges again individually. And I'm going to chamfer that edge out. So I don't need to do it too much, maybe just about there to add some separation. Say OK. And then if I go to my polygon tool, um, click on one of the edges, hold down shift and click on the other, it'll um, select the entire loop of them. Um, and I'm going to do a invert extrusion right back in there. Um, just so we can get some separation, so we can actually see where the battery pack is. So let's say okay. Now, to add some details uh, to the undercarriage here, I'm just going to go ahead and um, select all of these bottom polygons. And I'm going to just go ahead and chamfer them to smooth them out. So um, let's go to my chamfer tool. We can increase the amount just a little bit and then add a segment in there. And as you can see there, you just get a nice, nice rounded out geometry. Let's actually do the same thing right in here. Oops. So we'll go to chamfer. Um, we'll decrease that amount. We don't need as much there. Okay. And we say okay. So that's looking pretty good so far. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to make some kind of a latch that's going to hold this piece together. So um, in my front view, I'm going to turn on my wireframe, and I'm going to start off by making a cylinder. All right, so let's change the cylinder to have eight sides. Um, we're just working with a nice low poly model here. You don't need any height segments. And then let's check the thickness. Thickness looks good. Great. Um, and now what we're going to do is I actually want to cut off the top half. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to right click to convert this to an editable poly. Um, and I'm going to go to my two vertices here and I'm going to go down to connect. And as you can see, that'll make a um, straight line across, which is exactly what I want. Um, now, if you take the entire piece, let's go underneath here. Let's just go ahead and line that up where we want it. Um, this is actually a little bit easier to do in your wireframe. Right there. And with your vertex selection, we can delete the top half of the reason. Awesome. Actually, no, before we do that, sorry, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, let's make a copy of this. 
just normal copy, not an instance. And uh, let's go ahead and rotate it using our angle snap. 90 and 90. Perfect. And let's um, align it with this one. So we can access it nice and easily. So I'll bring this down just a tad and bring this over. Perfect. So now what I want to do is um, I'll go back here and I'll delete that top half I don't need, just so I have the shape. Perfect. Now to make my latch, um, I want to um, bridge these two polygons together. So I want to make sure that this polygon here is aligned with one of them over here. But as you can see, uh, my polygons aren't lined up super well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my angle snap and I'm just going to rotate this slightly so these polygons look lined up. Just like that. Um, and what I want to do next is I want to attach the two together. So I'm going to go over here to attach, put this on the polygon, and let's select that one and this one. Actually, I don't like how... I'm going to bring this one over a little bit more. Okay. So we'll select this polygon. So I'm going to flip this over. That means this should be confusing. And get this one. And then let's go ahead and bridge those together. Now, um, this is a good start to my latch. So what I can do next is um, I'm going to do a control backspace on this edge to get rid of it. Um, and I'm going to start making some geometry here. So um, I'm going to inset this just a little bit. I'll come back. Let's try doing a type in tool. Awesome. And then let's do um, extrude it the other way. This will give us a nice spot to put our screw into. And I'm almost ready to add turbo smooth, but the first thing, the next thing I want to do is actually um, make this piece into quads. Um, so 3ds Max likes working with it. So what I'm going to do is let's just go to my front viewport where it's easy to see. And with your vertex selection, um, I want you to right click and go over to cut um, and you're going to click on this vertex and go straight up. Let's see, it seems to be snapping somewhere else. Let's try this again. Vertex. Right click, cut. Hmm. It's not liking what I'm doing there. Let's try starting from up here. Not sure what that is trying to click to. There we go. We'll go back over here and we'll do the same thing up to the side. Let's try this again. Right over there. Right click to end it. This vertex up to this edge, turn that. Right. First, we're going to turn it around. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. So you can see that these are all divided up into quads, and Turbo Smooth should work just fine. Let's go ahead and isolate that object so we can see it a little bit better. Um, we'll go to our turbo smooth. All right, looking pretty good. Um, I actually don't. If you notice, what turbo smooth does is it really curves it up here. So actually, I'm going to go back to my polygon mode. I'm going to delete these top polygons. Let's try adding it then, and that looks a little better. So if we go over to ice line display. Um, and go back down to your editable poly. Um, we can go ahead and say show end result. 
and we can add in some swift loop geometry. And that'll just clean up our, our modeling just a little bit. Cool. That's looking pretty good. So let's uh, see what we have here. All right, looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my select move tool and I'm just going to drag this right over. And if you have um, a screw from your wheel, uh, if you're following the previous tutorials, to just put right into there, um, you can do that and you'll be all done with this part. Thanks for watching.